Hey guys, and welcome back to Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 3. This is part 2. I really hoped you enjoyed the previous part, and you are excited to watch the continuation of the Let's Play. I really hope so. There's a deer. So, Lara Croft, she's hungry, so we need to get some food. And there's a bow, so that's perfect, so we can just try to get that bow from the corpse. So I feel really excited about doing this as well. So I really hoped I really hope uh that the viewers are too because I am super pumped for this let's play. Perfect, so we got our first weapon, kind of. It's a makeshift long bow. That's great. We need to pick up some arrows too. Uh, usually you'll find like ammo and arrows and stuff for your weapons just lying about uh, in the world. So just keep your eyes open uh, and you'll easily come across them. Uh, so now we need to find something to kill so that uh, Lara can eat. We just saw a deer just previously walking around, so we'll go and see if we can find another deer that she can eat. There's actually quite a lot of them around here, so I usually just find like a, a viewpoint like this one that I can look around and then I can shoot. Here's a few of them, but I'm really bad at um, <laughs> aiming and shooting. As you can see, I'm not the best. So be patient with me, please. I, I, I'm really not the best. Um, and plus, the animals run so fast. And um, I think it's, I really do think it's difficult to aim and shoot. I'm, it's just not a good, a, a thing I'm good at, basically. She had to cut it open with an arrow. Oh, I feel r really sorry for the deer. I do. Yeah. So don't uh, don't forget to uh, use the uh, the landmarks like the um, what are they called again? The um, survival instincts or whatever. So he can tell you where he's supposed to go. Like, look at me, I'm so bad at shooting. It's just not a thing I'm good at. Like, shooting games, like, in general, like, it's not, like, a, a thing that I do. Because I'm really not good at it. Like, really not. Just not my thing, I guess. But I kind of like to feel that I'm good at other things. So now that we've got the meat, we can return to camp and cook it. It's uh, right, very close to this area, just right up here again. And Lara can get some food in her belly. Finally. She must be starving with everything that she's gone through lately. Here we are. So in the camps, there you, there are some stuff you can look at, like skills. 
you can upgrade weapons here as well look at all kinds of things that you've learned here's your survivor upgrades this is Conrad Roth, captain of the endurance we are shipwrecked on an island inside the dragon's triangle Roth, Lara. you're alive easy easy are you okay what happened I remember the beach and then it went black and I woke up in a cave there was this crazy man Roth and a dead body oh god where are you now Lara are you safe it was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Okay, so now that Roth has con contacted us, we can find him. There is quite a long way to go actually to try and find him and find Hello? others. Hello? Is someone there? Here's some arrows. And here's some music, so let's just investigate. I think this is really creepy. I would never go down there if I heard creepy music playing in this and it's a place like that. I would never go down. This is so creepy. It's even creepy like playing it is creepy. So I can just imagine being there. Like it must be sick. And look at all these creepy markings. And look at that water, oh my god, it's so dirty. What am I doing? Yeah, that's a good question, Lara. What are you doing? Oh god, this is insane. No one leaves, it says. Well, we are definitely going to leave. I'm not going to stay around here. See, if you pickpocket, like, uh, not pickpocket, but if you search through a few boxes and stuff, you can get experience. That mask was creepy as hell. What the fuck? Uh, so we need something to get this door open. So let's just look around. See if we can find anything that we can use to open the door. Like an axe of some sort or something like that. Oh god. That really is disgusting. But we got a pry axe, and there's where the music is coming from. But there's no one around here. But um, if the music's playing, of course, there must have been someone here lately. Which is why this place is really creepy. But we got a pry axe, so that's perfect. Now we can use that to open doors or objects and boxes and stuff like that that have that kind of lock I guess that we can't open by ourselves so we can just use the pry axe for that in the future okay. hmm okay so here are some stairs that we can go up a ladder I mean so now we're finally out of that area now we don't have to go through that again 
Oh, we can hear someone. Is that Sam? Throw your throw away your torch and let's go up and have a look. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Just sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains <laughs> to the sea and beyond. But what happened to her? God, we're stuck in a trap and there's wolves around. What in Lord's name could be worse, guys? Nothing could be worse. So, I think this is really creepy too. A lot of things in this game creep me out. So now we need to point our bow around and look for wolves that are going to jump out to get us. There's one, so get it quickly. And yeah, of course you got experience for doing this. But you don't really have to be quick at this because it's kind of like slow, slow motion when they when they jump against you, so you kind of get enough time to shoot arrows at them. Thankfully, you just still need to be careful and be quick. Oh my God! Get it! Get it! Yay! We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Raw. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You gonna be okay? Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, 
<clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Not too bad. We've sat along here far too long, so now we need to catch up with Whitman. Let's uh, just see where he's going. Um, there's some arrows again. You can get this box open with your pickaxe, but our pickaxe isn't, or pry axe, I mean, it isn't strong enough. So we need to upgrade it, which we'll do in a few minutes. So apparently he's found something, so we need to go and find him. And here's a deer, another deer. And there's also wolves around, so be careful when you're doing this. There's some food as well, so Lara can eat. Always keep your ammo full. I always try to get ammo when I see it if I'm not full of ammo. Oh my god, here's wolves again. Oh no! Yeah, this happens if they get too close to you. And I'm not good at those buttons. So, yeah, it's not my thing. I've never been good with pressing buttons like that quick. Especially in this game for some reason. I don't know why that is. I'm just not that good at it. So he's up here somewhere. No, oh, there he is. A new camp discovered. I've seen these before. Oh. They must be ritualistic. This female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. <sighs> the handle's missing. Together. It won't take the fourth. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. So Whitman is just going to stand there and just uh, look at those uh, images. We can open this box later on when we have upgraded it. Um, so to upgrade your axe we need to collect salvage and I'll show you what salvage is when I find it let's just have a look around you can use your survival instincts it will show you oh my god more wolves I hate the wolves because they're so small too so it's not that easy to like to hit them and that's why I hate them so much and they're so scary too. More experience. Let's have a look around, see if we can find some ammo. No, ammo. If we can find some salvage. So salvage is in these boxes. It's wooden boxes. Just use them. We need to find 50 salvage, so that's 5 boxes. 10 salvage in each. And these boxes with salvage are located throughout the whole game and you can use the salvage in the base camps to upgrade your weapons and stuff like that. So that is why we're collecting that now so that we can upgrade the pry axe so we can get open the gates and also those boxes that we've seen uh, lying around, those big ones that we can't open. Yeah, who are they worshipping? Another deer that I can't hit because I'm too bad. Or maybe I can. Who knows? Did I get it? I don't know. I didn't really see if I got it. Here's another one. It's running towards me. Get it, get it. Oh. I'm super bad at this. I'm really sorry, guys, if you find this terrible to look at that I'm so bad. But there, I got it. After it slowed down. Let's just go up and 
it. So we need to find one more box with salvage in it. Let's have a look around, see if we can find anything. Oh, it's a wolf. I didn't even see it. What the hell? Another one. I hate these wolves. One more box of salvage. Where is it? Oh, there's it. It was right next to me. Okay, that should do it. Now we just need to go back to the camp at the gates. We don't need to use the survival instincts really because it's right over here. Just camp here a bit and we can fix it. So each time Lara's here, she kind of like writes in her journal or whatever, she keeps talking. There it is. Strengthen. Perfect. Good. Now we can actually open up this box right here and see what's inside there. Just some salvage. We could go back and open the other box, but I can't be bothered. So let's go up and open up the gate with Whitman. Let's do this, Doctor. There we go, it's opening. Perfect. We're just going to follow Whitman up now, but their conversation is actually quite interesting, so I think I'll listen. They're talking about Himiko, the Sun Queen. A woman wields that much power, sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Alright, so let's just get up to this area right here. Incredible. It is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. <laughs> We're standing on a gold mine! Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <gasps> you still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. I'm handling this! No! No! no. Please! Get off! Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do, do whatever they say. Dai minha pistolete. Idi. Osha. People. What do you Silence! do with us? Laura! If they ah! give you any trouble, kill them! Don't hurt them, please! I said, Silence, girl. A divet, Haroshin Kayada, Nakuminayash Mayu Siestri. Let go! Let go! Laura, run! Oh no! No! Run them up! Run them up! Ah! Ah! Don't you fucking move! Now we've been captured by Russians, all of us. Yeah, now they're going to round them up. So now comes the stealth part of the game, which I'm not always the best at. We need to sneak around to get other places. But uh, what happens sometimes when I'm looking around, I'm a bit slow. So I sometimes get caught, like I'm about to... There we go. 
yeah, each time you fail, you get to watch Lara die, basically. But you can always start again, because the game has autosaves, as it's saying right now, so it's completely fine. It's not like you have to start the game all over again. Just try to be a bit more quick when you're doing the stealth part. So let's try to avoid these Russian guys and get out of here easily without getting hurt. Now we're going to go up here after the guy has gone past. Be careful of their flashlights so they won't flash the light at you and you will be discovered basically. Let's just hide inside this little hut here. No one escapes. Don't you dare touch Lara! What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm failing at these button smashing things. I'm not good at it. But we can always try again, of course. Let's see. Don't you touch me! No! And I failed again. Why the hell would he kill her? Why don't you just keep her prisoner or whatever? Why kill someone? Okay, third time's the charm, right guys? Let's do this. Let's beat up this bastard for touching Nora. You don't do that. Ever. Oh, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun! And shoot, 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 shoot. And press the button quickly now. There we go. Whatever, he deserved that for doing what he did. And we got a semi, what is that, semi-auto pistol or whatever, for taking him out. And we also got a bow back. And I, I like the fact with these Russians that it just says uh, speaking Russian. <laughs> I like that. Probably if there's some Russian people watching this video, you probably uh, you must understand what they're saying. It would be really interesting to know what they're saying. Now that we have the pistol, we can uh, use that to kill people. Let's see over here. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, so they die. 
and you need to load this pistol too maybe that's why it's called semi-auto or something like that I don't really know I don't know anything about guns of any sort it's, uh, not my expertise let's pry this open and get inside No, Laura's not dying inside here because she can get out. She's superwoman after all. Now let's run along the edge. Look how beautiful it's here too. This island really is beautiful. I don't know, is this island supposed to be like in real life or whatever? I don't know. I don't really know the backstory if it's like something that's happened in real life or whatever. Um, so something I would... Um, little tip for you guys if, when you're playing this game is that if you want to take them out quickly without any fuss or whatever you can shoot them in the head because then they'll die instantly that's a good way to kill them for example if you have a bow because the bow won't kill them in like one try when you're shooting them in the body so if you shoot them in the head they die instantly with a bow it's much better to use the bow. Let's shoot this guy before he comes down. Yeah. You're dead. And I'm really sorry if I sound like really hoarse or something. Because I am a little hoarse. I really am. But I usually get like more hoarse when I'm doing commentary. But here's Roth talking to us. to find oh we're full of arrows we need to find a way to get to Roth he's very close right now we're soon at where he is at thankfully here's another camp for you guys if you need to do some stuff you can upgrade the bow for example or upgrade the gun Whatever, I'm not going to do anything right now. Let's see what's going up here. Oh, here are some more guys. Let's take them out. Shoot in the head so they die instantly. Easy. No, oh, don't kill me. I just like to stand in one area and shoot everybody before you move. That just kind of makes it a little bit easier, in my opinion. And now we're getting tons of salvage. So we can use it in the camp to upgrade our weapons. It's perfect. You need to look out for the salvage throughout the game because it, it really does help with weapons. It really does. I love using the salvage. Oh, they're going to kill us. So let's go and see where they're at. Pyromaniac, challenge unlocked. I'm not going to be doing like challenges and skill points and stuff like that. It's just a regular let's play. So let's sneak up behind this guy. It's a stealth kill as the game is telling you about. It's a great way of doing it. You could have taken this guy out too as like a stealth kill but I didn't do that. I just killed him with the arrows because I like using the arrows actually. No I don't really like using the arrows because you have to shoot them in the head to kill them instantly. And I didn't do that. And now I'm missing 
him like a lot. Oh my god, no, there's they've seen us. No. I actually think I failed here or something like that. Because as you can see, I'm missing target all the time. Yeah, I'm not good right now and I'm dying. There we go. The game kind of turns like black and white when you're dying. I don't know. It's kind of like a cool little thing, I think. So let's try that again. There's no problem in trying again. Let's do this stealth kill. I actually really love doing the stealth kill. Just, just like looking at them when you're doing it. Let's shoot this guy in the head like that. And now we can get up here and try again. Let's shoot them in the head. And let's try to shoot this guy before he like figures out what's going on. Let's try to stand here and take them out before we move. That's going to make it easier. There, I think we took out everyone, I think so at least. Oh no, there's one left. Oh, don't kill us. Well, this guy too. Oh no 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 no, you're not gonna take me out, no you're not. There we go. Now we can escape from this area. Quickly, use the zip line. There we go. Now we can climb up here. Yes, you can do this. She should have been like Ratchet here and he could do it like the wall jump like Ratchet does. That would have made it easier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's a human so she can't do stuff like that, of course. This looks really cool as well. The game looks amazing, like the graphics and everything, and the story is great as well. It's a really good game. Now oh, we can hear gunfire. It's wrong! Looks worse than it is. Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. We're also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Don't do this to me, you northern bastard. Thank God he's still alive. 
We'll be doing that in the next part, guys. See you then.